Welcome to Tesla Super Destinations, where we review Tesla's charging infrastructure and get to know the cool people there. This is our first full year on YouTube, 365 days from our first video. So we're taking you to the supercharger on the open campus, hosting the Tesla Design Center, SpaceX HQ, the boring test tunnel, and Hyperloop in Hawthorne, California. We totally need your support, so please smash the like button and subscribe. We really need your support to keep this thing going, so super please and thank you in advance for subscribing. Let's get charged up. Hello, this is Blue Leader, and we're here at Tesla SpaceX in Hawthorne, California, where they have six superchargers for employees only. This used to be an official supercharging spot you could find on your Tesla nav up until around 2020. It was then removed from the Tesla nav, but Tesla drivers were still allowed to supercharge here as a secret supercharging spot. If you were in the know, then you knew where to go. That was super cool. You can charge here and everything, but they don't put it into the public. But as of mid-2021, Tesla drivers in the general public could no longer charge here. More on that after the ratings. One full star for chargers, six of them at 72 kV, 24-7 for employees only. There used to be an extra two, making it a total of eight, and those extra two were at 250 kV. A full star for bathrooms, about 50 feet away inside the lounge. This is for employees only. A full star for safety, well-lit, solar-shaded parking. Zero stars for food and beverage. You get your occasional food trucks during lunchtime. There's possible beverages inside the lounge waiting room. We're gonna give the cool factor two stars instead of one because you've got the supercharger monument in front of the Tesla Design Center, SpaceX HQ with the massive Falcon 9 booster, the boring test tunnel underground, and Hyperloop across the street on Jack Northrop Avenue. The SpaceX Tesla Design Center Supercharger for employees only gets a 5.0 TSD rating, pulling it up by cool factor. Non-rated noteworthy mentions 0.6 miles from the 105 freeway Crenshaw exit. You can still take a photo op next to the Tesla Supercharger monolith. If you can't get a supercharging spot under the solar shaded panels, there are 15 employee destination chargers. The official Tesla story on why the supercharger was closed to the public is, we needed to add more parking spaces for our employees, so we built the other supercharger in Hawthorne next to Target, so Tesla drivers can use that instead of the one here at the Tesla Design Center. Seems plausible, right? Totally believable. But that doesn't sound like the unofficial intel we heard from around the tech campus that houses the Tesla Design Center, SpaceX, Hyperloop, and the Boring Company. The unofficial intel, let's call it a rumor, is a more than curious Tesla driver who was supercharging started to wander around the campus and access areas they should not have been. What we heard was a Tesla driver started wandering around, so they shut it down. The good news is that Tesla employees, and most likely the sister companies like SpaceX employees, can still use these superchargers and destination chargers, and now they number a measly six. The good news for non-Tesla employees is that you can still drive through, take a look, take a photo op, but please don't mess it up for the rest of us and wander around places you're not supposed to go. Congrats, you made it to the end. Comment your electric thoughts and share with your circle of trust. Thanks for letting us supercharge your Tesla destination. Peace out.